If you look at your body as an engine, you know it needs fuel to run. Store shelves are packed with items that promise to help us build muscle, boost our energy, and make our workouts easier. To find out whether energy drinks and certain types of foods can help us look good and feel great, let's turn to Loreen Cachola. Well, Joe, drinks packed with caffeine and vitamins promise us a burst of energy to help us get through a tough workout or even just a regular day. But do these drinks really help? Well, here to help explain these things is personal trainer Wendy Holmes. Thanks for joining us, Wendy. Thanks for having me. So, Wendy, are energy drinks good for us? Well, I think there's a couple of things you need to be asking yourself. And one of them is, you know, why are you drinking these drinks? Uh, are you drinking them because they taste good and it, it, it's like a treat for yourself? Are you drinking them because you're dead beat tired and you want to have energy? Are you drinking them because you're trying to get a harder, better workout? So those are something you need, that you need to ask yourself. Can they be bad for us? Um, I think it's all in how you use them. Uh, what we want people to realize is you mentioned that they have caffeine and vitamins, but they are loaded with sugar. So you really need to be careful about how you're using them. Make sure you're reading your labels, that you understand what you're putting in your body, and, and try to get more research on it. And also realize that many of them are in two and three servings. So what you read on the back is really only one serving. No, we do see a lot of kids drinking these energy drinks. We do. They're really being marketed to a younger crowd who don't necessarily know how to really use these drinks. They just think that they're supposed to drink them and that they're going to be better soccer players. So they've got to be real careful about um, who they're being marketed to. And really that group is, is not as active as we need them to be. So it's, it's kind of a, it's a, it's an issue of imbalance. Now, I see here that you have good old-fashioned Gatorade. Does this fall into the same category? I like Gatorade. Um, I like Gatorade that it doesn't have caffeine. However, again, you need to think about, we need to think about why we are using Gatorade. Gatorade is really designed to be used for um, workouts longer than 60 minutes. So like in the fall season when football is going on and the, the kids are practicing, you know, two and three hours, that is when you're using Gatorade. Not so much three times a day with a bag of chips. Um, what about food now? We talked about drinks, food, and do we need to fuel up before we have a workout? Yeah, I think it kind of depends on the type of workout you're going to do. But, you know, in the morning, it's probably a good idea to have a small snack, um, to have either some water, you can even have a little bit of coffee, but uh, giving yourself a little bit of carbohydrate with, a, a, you know, not too heavy in the protein, but having a little bit will help get you through the run. Um, also, if you're going to exercise in the evening, it's really important, it's important to plan for a uh, mid-afternoon snack. We prefer that you plan those snacks and know that you're going to have like a half bagel with peanut butter or maybe some air pop popcorn. And you know, and in a pinch, you could use one of these, the protein bars and, and also have water to get ready so that you'll have the energy to want to do the workout. So you've been uh, working out, expending all these calories. Do you need to eat after a workout? Yeah, it's good to always eat after the workout within two to three hours to replenish some of the, the things that are lost. However, if you're really, if it's pretty strenuous and you've, and you've worked hard in the workout 60 minutes or more, um, it's, it's good to get a carbohydrate in within 20 to 60 minutes after the workout. And a new favorite that a lot of people are using is chocolate milk. And what I like about the chocolate milk is you can get it in um, almond milk, soy milk, and good old skim milk. So it's good, it's good for a post-workout. Yeah, sounds like a good treat, too. Well, thank you for helping us with what should go inside of our bodies. You're welcome. And thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time with more ways to look good and feel great.